Whether it's in the air we breathe or the food we eat, nitrogen is essential to life. Nitrogen in the ground or nitrates can seep into groundwater, making it dangerous, however, to drink. One group of high school students hopes to spread awareness at an upcoming event. Meteorologist David Harker explains. To me, it's just amazing. You know, you have a well and it's like, oh boy, I better drink bottled water because I can't trust what's in my water. So exactly what's in our water? Besides H2O, there are a number of microscopic particles that are harmless, as long as their levels are low. One offender is nitrates, a common form of nitrogen. I didn't know that nitrates were in my well water. I didn't know that all the sewage and all the runoff fertilizer, uh, stuff like that was going into our well water. I didn't know it was dangerous at all. This is especially true in some parts of Granger, where current levels of nitrates in well water exceed safe limits. So what's considered safe? Anything under 10 parts per million, according to the Environmental Protection Agency. Unless you get your well water tested, you may not know your water is contaminated because nitrates are colorless, odorless, and tasteless. A high concentration of nitrates uh, has been linked to a lot of harmful diseases in children and uh, newborns, such as blue baby syndrome. Blue baby syndrome, known in the medical field as metemoglobinemia, results in decreased oxygen-carrying capacity of hemoglobin in babies, leading to possible death. I measured well water myself and found some scary results. One of the samples I used measured well above the maximum contaminant level set by the EPA. Remember, the safe level is no more than 10. And so that level is at like 13, and so, you know, that's, that's really high. That's not good. Chemistry students at Penn High School in Mishawaka are testing well water for harmful nitrate levels in our area. Nathan Petrie created a map of trouble spots. So you can sort of see like where we have uh, lower levels and then higher levels uh, closer to the county line over here. And I hope it leads them to feel like, hey, I can be involved in the community and make some type of impact. Chemistry teacher Diane Bowersox oversees the water sample project. Well, we're always looking for ways to make chemistry learning more relevant to the students so it doesn't just seem like they're doing a bunch of mathematical manipulations. The kids are taking part in a water awareness day to help the community understand the dangers that nitrates bring. Since we're not big enough to completely change an entire community, our main goal is to uh, spread awareness. Residents are asked to bring in small sandwich bags filled with water for testing. They'll even get the chance to win a device that helps dilute nitrates. It's called a reverse osmosis system. And then a reverse osmosis system is probably one of the best uh, things you can do because that just takes out, like, uh, I think it was 75% of the nitrates, and then that's numbers so small already that it should be fine then. And safe to drink. For New Center 16, I'm David Harker. Now, Water Awareness Day is this upcoming Saturday at Cablin's Ace Hardware on Adams Road in Granger between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Anyone wanting to test their drinking water is invited to attend. For more information, visit WNDU.com and click on this story.